So, confession, I went to the bins on Friday after we got back from the Dominican and I got 80 pounds of stuff. I mean, I'm surrounded by it. I can barely squeeze myself into this little spot here. Um, so if you wanna see what I picked up, keep on watching. Hey guys, I'm Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I am a part-time reseller on both Poshmark and eBay. I also have an antique booth, which is where most of the stuff is going to go. Um, but like I said in the intro, I got 80 pounds of stuff at the bins. That worked out to $105, I believe. I think it's $1.39 per pound, um, unless it's like books or electronics, I think, which is 20 cents a pound. I did get a couple books, so that reduced my price just a little bit. Um, and I did round up each time. I went to two different rounds. This was actually the first time I missed their opening round at seven because we had just gotten back from our trip on Thursday and I wanted to sleep in a little bit. So I left later than usual, but I made the second round, which starts at 9.30. So the way our bins work right now due to COVID is that they have certain rounds throughout the day and then they close for an hour in between so that they can rotate all the bins out and then um, sanitize all the carts and stuff so you do have to wait outside for a number to get in they used to be 45 but I think they changed that to like 50 or 55 now the last time I went to the bins was in November so it's been quite a bit of time um, but you do have to wait outside in line for a number they pass out the numbers about half hour before the rotation starts and then you line up again to go in so 80 pounds, I counted up the items and there's 124 items, not much clothes. So if you're into clothes, this might not be the best video of mine for you to watch. Um, I'm trying to slowly move away from clothes, not completely, obviously, if I find something cool in a thrift store or a yard sale or whatever, I'll still pick it up but I am trying to move into hard goods a little bit more and that's most of what you can see here in this haul. So like I said, 124 items, it was 80 pounds altogether. I spent $105, so that means my cost of goods per item is about 85 cents, um, 84 and change. Here's the calculation. But let's just get started. It might be a long one, so grab yourself a drink, a snack, whatever you gotta do to make it through here and let's hop in. So as I said, a lot of things are going to go to my booth directly and I did get a lot of baskets. Those do super well in my booth. So here is the first one. It's just this little, little tiny one. Not really sure what you would put in here, but it was too adorable to leave. And of course my battery died after I showed you the first item. Hopefully this one lasts a little bit longer, but I do have some charging. Um, so this is the next piece. And as you can see, it's a squirrel and he has a little acorn and I thought it was too cute. The inside is lined. So I'm thinking you could maybe put a small plant in here, a succulent. It's not very big as you can see. Um, they did have two of these, but the second one was missing the acorn. So I left that one behind. This one is a more structured basket. It has a long top handle. I can't read what the bottom says. I know it says Renaissance, but there's another word above that if it'll focus for you. And I have no idea what it is. It kind of looks like the word basket, but with an F. Not sure if that's a thing. I haven't looked any of this stuff up. So unless I looked it up in the bins while I was shopping, I don't know what any of it goes for. This is just an Opal House, which is a Target bathroom set. So it has the little soap dish and it's green mercury glass and then the toothbrush holder. So I thought these would be really cute. Oh look, another basket. There's gonna be lots of wicker in this haul, just to warn you. This one's also lined as well. So it would be great for a plant. This next one I got for myself. It's gonna go right by my front door so I can hang my keys off of here and maybe put, I don't know, some like faux succulents or something on here, but I don't know why no one grabbed this. It's in really good shape and I was super excited to pick this up. This one I did look up while I was shopping. It goes for around $30 online. It is a vintage sewing box. 
I think it's like Wilton Wilson on the bottom. Um, this color also does the best. They have blue and green from what I've seen online as well, but the yellow one is more rare. And it has this little tray inside for all of your sewing notions. And my battery's gonna die again. I can see it flashing at me. Next, I picked up these four, I think these are called Cruel, C-R-E-W-E-L. Please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a set of four. So this one is winter. Then we have spring, summer, and of course, fall to complete all of the seasons. And they were made in 1972. Another basket, here we go. This one's not the greatest quality, but again, they do really well for me in my booth. Also picked up this mirror. You can see my little camera setup. Um, I thought this would do well in my booth also, just to go on the back wall. And oh look, another basket. I love this style. It's kind of more natural looking to me. Um, and the woven texture is really great. So this one will probably go for around seven, eight dollars in my antique booth. All right, let's move on to some books. This first one is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. This is the hardcover version. Um, it's in really great shape. I'm not sure why this one didn't get picked up. There are a lot of booksellers that go to my bin, so I'm not sure why no one grabbed this, but I will um, probably wait to get all of the books in hardcover and then sell them together. This book is not worth anything. I looked it up, but I just couldn't leave it behind because it has Opus on the front. Um, 80s baby here so if you don't know opus but the inside has all these little comic strips definitely a vintage but I just had to grab this I did get a couple of books for myself so I got these two Stephen King the shining and the green mile I love this movie um, so I'm excited to read the book and then this movie I haven't actually seen but I feel like maybe if I read the book I will feel more comfortable watching the movie if you've read either of them, please let me know how you like them in the comments. And I picked this one up too because it's just going to be an easy read for me, Chelsea Handler. I've read one of her books before, can't remember which one it was. If I can remember, I will insert it on the screen for you. Um, but like I said, just a quick easy read. And then the last books that I got in this trip was this stack of vintage goosebumps there is one duplicate here i think it's number 13 if i remember correctly but um, i will just lot all of these together and sell them on ebay i missed them in the first rotation there were some in the first rotation as well um, but i didn't see enough of them to really warrant picking them up but when i went in for the second rotation they had so many of them so i grabbed all of the ones that i could find Okay, this is the third battery and hopefully this one will last the remainder of the haul. Um, apologies as always if the angle changed. Um, anyways, here we go. This is just a vintage globe. I like picking up globes, you know, passports and pizza pies. How could I leave this behind? But um, this will go in my booth as well. It does say made in the USA genuine hardwood for the base, but I'm not sure which company made this globe. This is just an ASPCA umbrella. It does have somebody's address on this little chain, so I'm not gonna show it to you, but um, these go for like $35 online. It's just got like cats and dogs on it and some raindrops, so raining cats and dogs, I assume was <laughs> the reason why they made that print. I couldn't find this exact print anywhere online, um, but I'm sure it will do around the same as the other ones that I've seen. This is just an insulated like Coleman water bottle so you could take on hikes and stuff. I just thought it was really cute. I like picking up vintage Coleman pieces. I briefly looked up comps on this Honestly, can't remember now what they went for, um, but it is a PS3 Active 2 like personal trainer. Everything is in here, just the box is a little bit damaged as you can see, but otherwise nothing has been even opened in here. So I'm hoping this will do pretty well. Grabbed an Urban Outfitters bag just so I could A, carry out my stuff and B, just include it with somebody's Poshmark order. 
This one I'll probably put on Facebook Marketplace. I sold one recently that was wooden that I got from the bins back in November and it did pretty well. Um, but this is just like an iron bicycle in the back you can put a plant in. I sold the previous one for 25 so I'll probably put this one maybe 15 or 20 just because it's a little bit smaller. I got a puzzle just because it was new and sealed. They wanted a dollar for it at the Goodwill. Um, I really paid 85 cents, so I didn't get that much of a, a different price. Um, but I'll just throw this up on eBay. Got a Starbucks cup, um, no lid. It is just one of their basic reusable cups. I have a few others, so I think I'm just gonna delete those listings and put these all together in one lot. So I picked this up not knowing what it was, and then earlier this week I was watching The Recycled Life. So Laura Caldwell, this was on her personal channel, not The Recycled Life channel. Um, but anyways, this is a Swedish horse. I think it's called the Dala. I'll put the full name on the screen for you. Um, these do pretty well. There are decent comps on Etsy, especially for the bigger ones. Um, this one's obviously really small, but still should get around $28 to $35 just for this tiny little horse. Got a few plush. I think there's some more in one of these other two um, baskets, but this one is from Bendy in the Ink Machine. I forget what her name is. I did look her up, um, but around $25 to $30 for her. This one is like a Thai silk beanie boo. It's just this cute rainbow leopard. Its name is Dottie. This thing, I forget what this is called. Again, I will insert it on the screen for you, but this creepy thing, I thought it was an ugly doll at first, but just wait for it. Yeah, this is like 40 bucks. I don't know how or why, um, but happy to pick that up at Ben's prices just to see how it does. I'm gonna put that far away. Um, got this basket, love the handles on this and it's just really well constructed. It does have like some dust on the bottom, but that's fine. So if I don't find a use for this in my home, this will go to the booth. More baskets. Um, this is just like a little, it's not wicker, but it is a woven trivet. Just thought it was cute, couldn't leave it behind. I got this dream catcher, still in the package. It has the legend of the dream catcher on the back. I just figured I could throw this into somebody's Poshmark purchase as like a free gift. This I haven't looked up. It's from Disney's Riviera Resort, the Disney Vacation Club. It does have a QR code on the back. Maybe I could do that on my phone and see what happens. They did have a few of these, but this was the one that was in the best shape, so I picked it up. I just thought it was cute. People love Disney, so I'll throw that on eBay. Not really sure what this guy is. It says Lafayette Avenue Ceramics. It's just like a cup. I originally thought it was going to be like a Ray Dunn, but it has these little indents on the side for your fingers um, to drink coffee or tea or whatever. So this will just go in my booth as well as like everything else in this haul. So I apologize if I say that too much. These are mine and no one's ever going to have them because they have elephants on the top. And I love elephants. They're just like these teak wood salad spoon and server. So these are mine. Baskets. Can't leave behind a good basket, especially for 85 cents. My thrift stores price them up. Um, I've seen some baskets, like small baskets this size, go for $8 at Savers. And I'm not paying that, but um, happy to pick these up and people love them. And like I showed you when I showed you full, 
Here is the now empty basket. It has these nice leather handles. This one actually might stay with me. I do have a lot of baskets in my laundry room for all of my like shipping supplies and like stain removal stuff. So this one will probably stay here. A couple more plush. These are not the last ones. I think there's at least one more. Apologies if you hear noise, my windows behind me are open and I live on a busy like throughway street. Um, so this is Tigger. He's like a beanbag kinda. He still has his Disney store tag. He was only $6, but couldn't leave him there. I found one Squishmallow. Unfortunately, it wasn't a huge one, but it's this adorable little like husky dog with a Santa Claus hat. I don't know what his name is. I haven't really looked him up, but he's just a tiny little like ornament one. And then this guy, I was really surprised. It's a Funko product. His tag's almost coming off of his bum, but he is the green Power Ranger, and this is about $40 to $45 just for this tiny little Funko plush. All right, now we're gonna get into this Big Daddy. This is like a Grove Collaborative uh, bag. I assume it's like a laundry bag, but I filled it with all the rest of my hard goods. So let's get started. Um, this first one, obviously not the right season, but it is a wicker like Santa sleigh. So I have a couple little Santa figurines and I'll put one in here to style it for my booth come the holidays. My name's Kay. I got a giant Kay. <laughs> um, I don't really know what to say about this other than I just had to have it. <laughs> I don't know if I'll display it or if I'll just try to sell it to someone whose last name starts with a K, but it came home with me. Sorry. <laughs> I got an air bubble for packaging because these don't weigh anything, so it's just like free shipping supplies. I think this is Arlo from Good Dinosaur. Livy's in her room so I can't ask her for confirmation. I know it's Disney because it says Disney, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, but he was just too cute and you guys know I love dinosaurs. Here's another TY. This one is a plush and his name is Dakota. It's like a husky pup. This one, I don't really know how these do. I didn't look it up much. I just kind of grabbed it and went with it. This is a Lily Pulitzer plastic tumbler. It's got a pretty pattern on it. I don't do pink, so it's not staying with me. This is a Hedwig coffee cup. It just says Harry Potter on the bottom. I have a hard time leaving Harry Potter anything in the bins. It's a problem. I got this movie for myself and then yesterday I realized I already own it. So, I don't know. I guess I'll try to squeeze my money out of it by putting it on eBay. Tiny little wicker basket. This one would be good for a basket wall as like an accent piece. And then I got like a trash barrel sized wicker basket. You guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about wicker baskets. This someone will like who's into that like rustic country stuff. It's just like a grapevine that's twisted and into the shape of a heart in the middle. This next one is staying with me. I can never leave these behind, especially in the bins. It doesn't appear to be broken anywhere, which is kind of shocking. Um, if you've ever been to the bins, you know that it can get a little wild in there, but this is a Buddha. This is like an Indian Buddha, if she will focus for you. Um, carved out of wood, it says Indonesia on the bottom. Somebody was trying to sell it in what looks to be their vendor booth for $35. 
it's not gonna focus for you my camera's being a brat today but trust me it says that $35 on the bottom but definitely staying with me this is just a plastic planter that you can put like on your deck post or something like that um, it's made by a Sunwear not really sure if these go for anything but planters and those type of things have been flying out of my booth for this season because it is springtime so i'm gonna get this in there right away you guys might judge me for this next one but i don't really care i got this piece of driftwood at the bins yes i know that i could just go to the beach and find some for free um, and I have done that. I have quite a bit of driftwood and sea glass and stuff in my home, but, um, this had to come home with me for, I don't know, some reason. And these actually do sell in antique booths, just so you know. Um, they can go for a pretty penny, especially like the crazier they are. And this one was pretty cool. So it's going to go at least in my booth for decor and I might just throw a price on it. And if somebody buys it, then that's fine i got some balls <laughs> i don't really know what else to say about these um one is i don't know it kind of feels like plastic wicker not real wooden wicker and this one kind of looks like twine i don't know they're decorative somebody will want them uh I, that's all i got this might be the last plushie this is I forget his name the shamrock bear i don't know it's a care bear i don't know if it's vintage the tags kind of look like it could be vintage but it does have a barcode so not quite sure but somebody will want him i picked these up just because they were new in the package they're ray done they have an old tj maxx tag on the back that's off uh, but it's just a set of six magnets got a couple games the first one is what do you meme the real housewives edition i don't watch that show um it's just an expansion pack it looks like from 2018 probably squeeze like eight or nine bucks out of this the other one is toy story for it looks like trouble but it doesn't actually say trouble because it's probably like a copyrighted game um but it it's it's the same thing uh i looked this up i think probably 12 dollars or so i'm drowning and stuff by the way so if you hear clanging it's just me trying to move stuff out of my way so i can function I got a bunch of beads as you can see i think there's four or five strands here but clearly um holiday colored so these will either decorate my house for the holidays or just go to the booth to make it a little more festive got a little tiny detective pikachu so this one's not vintage or anything because it's just from the movie that came out semi recently and my camera just does not want to focus for me today so it's a little pikachu got a couple more target things these are both target um these are threshold and they're just these pretty textured wooden vases i got two of these i'm not going to show you the other one because they're exactly the same i got four little unopened scentsy i think these are like wax melts scentsy bar this one's very snowy spruce then i got christmas cottage silver bells obviously all holiday themed and the last one is hug in a mug not really sure what these go for but i'll probably just lot them all together since they're similar scents and throw them on ebay for i don't know 25 30 dollars i also picked up two sets of trading cards not really sure what these go for i'm not really into cards but i just thought they were cool this one is the story of world war ii 110 cards i think that's what that says yep and this one is operation yellow ribbon desert storm 
Again, not sure what they go for, but if you know, please let me know in the comments down below. Two more Target pieces. This first one is just a mercury glass tea light holder. This is also Threshold. I just thought it was really pretty. And this one doesn't say um, which line it is. It just says 2016 and it is a like faux brass hammered pencil cup. Yes, I pick up Target stuff just because it's, it is actually expensive if you buy it in the store. I hate white wicker, but again, I'm not gonna leave this. People still like the white wicker, even though it's not personally my thing. So to the booth it goes. I did get a couple pieces of pottery. This first one is a handmade piece signed by Vita on the bottom. I'll try to show it to you. There we go. And then I just got this plain like blue and white one. People love that blue and white, especially if you're going for like that French look in your home. Nothing on the bottom, just a drainage hole. I also got two hand-blown glass cups. One's green and one's like a goldy color. I tried to look for more thinking there was at least four of them but I couldn't find any and surprisingly these did not get broken so they came home with me. I also got this Glacier Stainless Steel Bottle Cup. It's 18 fluid ounces made by Quality Outdoor Accessories Peregrine Outfitters. Not sure what that is, but I did look it up and it's close to $20. All right, this is the last hard good before we get into the clothing items. So here's the box, I'll show you before I open it. Safari Collection Endangered Species Patchwork Elephant made by La Vie. As I already said earlier, I love elephants, so this cutie could not be left behind. Look how adorable that is. Not sure what it goes for. I believe I did look it up in the store, but I can't remember. It's been over a week since I went there, so my memory is just shot. All right, the moment most of you have probably been waiting for, since I think most of you probably sell mostly clothing. <laughs> Here we go, it's all in this Vera Bradley um, bag that I also got from the bins. Need to make some room. All right, so the bins I go to is in New Hampshire, which has a bike week every summer called Laconia. I've been once with my dad, it's not really my thing. Um, and this is a hoodie from last year's, which I don't know if they actually really technically had it. I believe it was pushed off um, until like August. It's usually Father's Day weekend, I'm pretty sure, in June. Um, and I think they push it off till August, and it does say August on here, but again, I'm not sure if they actually all got together with COVID, um, but he is wearing a mask on his motorcycle. As you can see, it says the August 2020 dates on there. This is a size uh, small. Um, I do have one Laconia shirt from like 2013 that just isn't moving, but I just thought this one was funny with his little mask on, so I had to bring that home. I honestly didn't source much in the clothing bins. The first round, I didn't look in the clothing bins at all. I only found a few pieces because they were mixed in with the normal hard goods. Um, but the second round, I did go to a few towards the end of the two hours. This one is Nike ACG, which I think is all climate gear, size large. It's just got this fun pattern, and then the back does have two or three pockets for like a cycle i think that's a cyclist thing um not quite sure i don't really cycle um but it is some kind of pockets for like hydration and stuff speaking of cycling i saw this in the bins and just grabbed it this is the pearl izumi tag here's the inside these are a medium and these are padded bike shorts. I 
found, I think, two pieces from this brand. I love picking up this brand. This one needs a little bit of help. It needs a good wash, but this is Marmot, size medium. And it's just a light blue, like, rain jacket. This is really lightweight. It does have a little bit of a smell, so I'm just going to pop that in the wash or just give it a soak in a tote full of water and soap and see what happens with that. And here's the other marmot piece. This is also a size medium. And it's a black sweater, full zip. Really nice quality, I love marmot. So like I said, the bins is in um, New Hampshire. I recently moved from Mass to Rhode Island, so I am a New England girl at heart. This is NFL size medium, and of course, it's Mr. Thomas Edward Brady. The screen print is a little bit cracked, but with him now at the Bucks, I had to just get this. Excuse my hair as I pull it into my face. I'm not sure what this brand is. I assume it's just like one of those boutique -y brands. Let me find the tag. Um, it is Plum Pretty Sugar, size medium, and it's just this really pretty blue and pink kimono, caftan, robe, whatever you want to call it. This next one I looked up in the bins because I wasn't sure if it was what I thought it was. Um, and it turned out to be what I thought it was. This one also needs a wash. It's got some stains on the pocket, but nothing that looks like it won't come out. And this is M&M Slim Shady. So Shady LTD. And it's just a full zip hoodie. Size extra large. I don't know if that showed up for you. It's kind of hard to tell. These, I've never picked up their jeans. I picked up a pair of shorts back in November from this brand and they just recently sold like a month or so ago. This is Can Can. And these are just like a black paper bag waist jean in a size 25. This one I picked up because of the size. It is a size 3X, I believe. Yes, 3XL and it's Harry Potter. It's gonna be hard to see. Um, and it's just got the big graphic of the lion for Gryffindor. So this next one I picked up just because of the brand and I didn't notice that it was flawed, but it is Free People, size small. I'll end up just keeping it for myself, but it's like a Python snake print. And as you can see here, there is a spot where the print is gone. Um, it looks like there's some on the back towards the middle area as well, kind of like what burnout tees do, but I'll just keep this for myself and use it when I go like do yard work or something. This one is Kalia by Carrie Underwood. Again, picked this up because of the size. It is a 1X. I don't often find good active wear in plus sizes. This is just like a gray short sleeve tee. This is another one of those brands that I really only pick up at the bins these days. This is a size large Lucky brand. And it is a blue short sleeve top. Just got this little fun print on it. And I liked the eyelet detail on the sleeves as well. I'm not quite sure why nobody grabbed this one. I got this at the very tail end of the rotation. It's brand new with tags, size four from Torrid. I can't remember what size that works out to. Um, it was $40 US, so $38.90. And it is a journey tee. I just thought it was really cool. It's also branded by Journey. It just has the Torrid tags. I thought it was cool. 
This one I picked up because I love me a graphic tee. The one I'm wearing is Ziggy Marley in case you can't read it, um, but I thought this girl was hot, so I had to grab it. Isn't she hot? I think she's hot. Um, it's from Acrylic. Never heard of that brand size large, so if nobody wants this, I will just rock it myself. I don't care if I have a hot girl on my shirt, that's fine. So I found two pieces from this brand. Both of them were in hard goods bins. So I'm not sure if somebody threw them back or that's just where they ended up. This is Patagonia, Patagucci. This is just like a, a bucket hat for the summer so that you can keep the sun off of your kid's head and face because this is a size large kids, 10 to 14. It does have some spots on it but I can just easily stain treat those I freaked out for a second because I thought something was a bug but it was actually just a piece of fuzz <laughs> um, this next one is Columbia size large extra large unisex come on there we go. And the inside has like that heat gear material to reflect the heat back to you. And it's just like a pink beanie hat. This was the first clothing piece that I found in conveniently, I believe this is the last clothing piece that I have to show you. Um, this was in a hard goods bin. Here's the other Patagonia. It's in like flawless condition. So not sure why no one grabbed it, but it's just a long sleeve like dry fit top in a size small just a couple more things guys you made it um these i just got for me they're just dryer balls i know they're super exciting <laughs> all right aside from the vera Bradley bag that I got and I will probably sell. I also got three pairs of shoes. I didn't go to the shoe bins. These were found in other bins. The shoes at my bins are crazy. Um, well, not the bins themselves, but the people. So I just won't even bother because it just stresses me out. <laughs> um, I'll just let them go at each other <laughs> in the shoe bins and just wait. And if I find something, I find something. But these are UGG. They're not in the greatest shape. They do have a lot of discoloration, especially on the toes, but the bottoms still look okay and the backs look okay. So we'll see how they do. I mean, at 85 cents, how could you go wrong? This brand I've never picked up before, never even seen it before, but I've heard other resellers pick it up. So I decided to give them a chance. This is Piccolinos. These do have some wear on the toes. I will just try to take my Doc Martens Wonder Balsam and see how they come out. But otherwise, they look okay. They're a size... Thirty-nine. I'd assume they're women's thirty-nine, not a men's, because that looks pretty small um but we'll see and the last piece i have to show you is one of my favorite ones because y2k fashion is trending again and these are definitely from <laughs> y2k era they are fashion bug so definitely vintage i don't think fashion bug even exists anymore and check out how cool these are. I love them. I would totally have worn these. They have a little butterfly with like studs on them. Chunky brown soles like straight out of the 70s. They do have some wear as you can see. But I mean, come on, they're just cool. I am in love with these and I can't wait to list them and see how they do. The style is called Lava and they're a seven and a half. 
Speaking of Y2K fashion, I have talked about her before, but my friend Shauna at Cal Thriftstagram on Instagram, I'll put it here for you to check her out. She does really well with Y2K fashion. Um, she's the best. She loved these. I tagged her in them when I put them in my Instagram stories and she immediately DM'd me. So if you wanna learn more about what kind of styles to pick up from that era and sell, she is like the best person to reach out to. So head over to her Instagram and check her out. But. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much if you made it all the way through this video. Put like an emoji in the comments. Let's go with like a cactus. Put a cactus in your comment if you made it through the end of this video. It's for sure one of the longer videos on my channel, so if you stuck around this whole time, I appreciate you. And even if you didn't stick around the whole time, I still appreciate you coming to my channel and watching my content. With 80 pounds and 124 items to share, I'm just excited to get Get it out to you so now I can process all of this stuff and get it listed on whichever platform or booth or whatever they're gonna go to um, just so I can get it out of here because it's been sitting in my kitchen for a week since I went to the bins and I'm tired of looking at it but anyway if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me I post reseller and travel related content so if you're into that kind of thing please consider subscribing if you have already and I hope to see you next time. Bye!